Okay, here's what we got. Okay, we have a DZ41 display. It's only a month or so old. It's a nice display while well, it worked, but here's what happened. It dead shorted something in the display itself went bad and dead shorted and it took out my um, G, G, uh, G620 which is the same as the M, M510 uh, uh, Ultra, the Fang motor and also here's an extra BBS HD controller okay as you can see here I got it hooked to this other BBS HD controller. Okay, turn it on. This is my backup display that I have. As you can see, fully functions. Okay, this is just uh, this has an error twelve code, it means the sense resistors are bad, so I got to replace those yet. But as you can see, it still works. Okay, this is the, the good display. Now, if I, if I dare, which I already learned by mistake, this only had an error 12 code as well, this particular controller. That's all that was wrong with it. What's wrong with it now? I do not know because here's what happened. Uh, on my Wolf Tracks bike, I have the BBS HD. I originally had the D, DPZ uh, DZ41, that's what this is called. Yeah, it's called the DZ41 on uh, the Wolf Tracks, and it worked perfectly fine. Okay, put the original display like this back on the Wolf Tracks. You can see here, here's what uh, is on the Wolf Tracks. This display. It's called the BL181. Uh, I can't find them anymore. I really like this display. It's very small, very compact. Does uh, a total of nine pedal assists and all that stuff. So it's it's quite convenient, very easy to use to set up with any BBS HD UART uh, controlled uh, mid drive motor. Now, what happened was. Okay, I switched the wolf track back back to the original display like this one. Okay, I said okay. Let me put the new display because this DZ41 will only do five pedal assists. The BBS HD will do nine. So I figured okay, let's put the DZ41 on. The M620 is the G510, I think is what it's called. Uh, Ultra, the Fang Ultra motor. Okay. So I, I plugged it up and it worked fine for a couple miles. Then all of a sudden, boom, it just instantly stopped. Stopped dead in its tracks. Nothing would turn on whatsoever. So I rode the bike home, obviously pedaling all, all the way. On this DZ41, I just started testing on it and plugged up my original display back to the uh, ultra motor. Okay, and I can get nothing. I plugged up the good display to the ultra motor. Nothing. It's dead. Dead on the doornail. Uh, so that kind of, you know, made me, okay, maybe my backup display is bad. Well... I tried the backup display on the Wolf Tracks, and it works perfectly fine. As you can see here, I tested it on a used uh, BBS HD um, controller. It worked perfectly fine. Now, here's what happened. When I was testing my controller on this controller, testing this display on this controller, it instantly sparked the moment I plugged this thing in. So that, in turn, by plugging this in, 
completely destroyed this controller. Now it's got more problems than just a code 12 error, which is the sense resistors, they're easy to replace. But now it's got some other issue, uh, which I will not have any idea what it is because it's, you know, I'll have to go dig into that a little bit more. But the problem is when I plug this up to the Wolf Tracks, it took out the BBSHD controller. It completely toasted it uh, because there's something wrong in this display. So anybody that's interested in these DZ41 displays, if they short out, it takes everything with it. Uh, it just took out this controller here. Just took it right out. So this controller is no good at all, period. It's junk. Unless I can figure out what else is wrong with it. Now, this controller is good. It just has a 12 error code, which is a sense resistors. Those are easily replaced. No problem. I plugged up this display. It works perfectly fine on there. I am not going to plug this up to that thing just to show some sparks on video because that's exactly what's going to happen because I already took out one of my backup controllers for my BBS HD kits. So it, it toasted this BBS HD controller. Uh, they're $125, I think, now for the, the BBS HD controllers. So... For anybody out there on a DZ41, if it shorts out internally somehow, I have no idea what caused this thing to short out. It just took out my controller on my Bafang Ultra M620 mid-drive motor and a BBSHD uh, controller. Took two of them out. Plus my backup. Now I'm going to have to fix this one, uh, dig it out of here, and replace this, uh, the, cur uh, the current sensing uh, error 12 code uh, resistors. And this controller I can put back on my BBS HD and get it fully functioning again. Now, will it work? I do not know. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers. That's all it took out. I'm hoping my secondary display of this type uh, isn't uh, shorted out. I'm just crossing my fingers that it uh, it didn't back feed when I plugged the original um, display back up to the BBS HD controller that it didn't take out one of these displays. Well, uh, that's all I can do. I'm just warning people about these DZ41s. When they dead short, they take everything that's in line with them out. The, apparently, they're not protected internally. It just dead shorts across some kind of terminal internally on the display itself. It just takes all your controllers, everything, torches them. So, this is junk. So... I hope that helps somebody uh, on these uh, DZ41 uh, displays. They're garbage. The, they might be compatible to Bafang motors, but if they dead short like what happened to me, it's going to take the controller with it. So they're garbage. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.